Welcome. Howdy. So, can you really hate somebody you don't even really know and you've never met? Now I can get a dislike for somebody that I see maybe on TV or in a news item, but it's not hate, it's just something that I don't feel comfortable about that person. And yet there's a lot of people that seem to hate Trump for some reason, and they've never met him. I disliked the Prime Minister May, but I didn't hate her. I just thought she was doing a terrible job. But even in the UK, when you talk to people sometimes about Trump, they get agitated and they get all worked up and they start sweating and yelling and it's a bit abnormal, really. And of course, all the Democrats hate Trump, and I guess if one Democrat didn't hate Trump, they would be bullied and put out to pasture somewhere. Maybe it's because Trump doesn't act like he's supposed to act, like a politician or a prime minister or a president is supposed to act. He doesn't actually make really fancy dancy speeches with big long words. He just kind of tells it as it is. And I think Trump is doing good for America and he's helping the American people. And that, I think, is what really annoys the elites and the other people in power in other countries because that's a no-no. You're supposed to keep the people down and to protect the elites. But anybody in that position, either prime minister or president, should be to help the people of that country. So let's take a look at some leaders of other countries that really don't like Trump. Macron of France. Is he helping the French people? No. He's a globalist and he's helping the elites be elite and keeping the French people down. Merkel. Did she help the German people? No. She helped the elites be more elite and kept the German people down. Is the Swedish government helping the Swedish people? No, and we all know what's happened there. Justin Trudeau, is he helping the Canadian people? Not on your life. And all these leaders I've mentioned are very arrogant people. Trump can be arrogant too, but not to the extent of the other ones I've mentioned. And it doesn't matter if you kind of dislike your prime minister or president, as long as they're doing a good job for the people in the country. May is not prime minister anymore of the UK. Boris Johnson is. But May still probably thinks she's done a very good job when she will probably go down as the worst prime minister for at least 50 years, at least as long as I've been alive. Boris Johnson? Well... The jury is still out on that one. The last president of the United States was Obama, and he was a polished politician. He could make fantastic speeches, and people liked him because he had charisma. But he was an elite, and he played the game for the elites and kept the people down. Even his own people he kept down. Maybe one of the reasons these people vocalize their hate for Trump is because they're scared. They're scared of losing power, scared of losing their eliteness, scared of all their perks going down the toilet. Personally, I hope Boris Johnson gets a bit more vocal, a bit more stern, and shows a bit more strength and resolve in his speeches. Because the UK had a completely indecisive Prime Minister, and what we need now is somebody who knows what they want, and knows how to get it. Another reason I think why a lot of people hate Trump is because of the propaganda machine. All the media outlets in America mostly are for the Democrats, against Trump. And people still watch these media outlets not knowing that they're not telling the truth. They can get swayed maybe and pulled into all the lies and deceit. The way that things are in America at the moment, the best president is still Donald Trump. There are no other contenders at the moment, except these nutty people who are offering free stuff. But there is some good news too. A lot of people hated Trump, but then they saw what he was doing, and he was actually helping people, and helping America. And now, they see the light. There is going to be an election in Canada too, and I really do hope that Justin Trudeau gets completely zonked out of there, just for his India trip that insulted the Indians and insulted most Canadians, and made Canada a laughing stock of the world. 
Well, this is Friday, and I've just finished work, and I put some Bud Light in the fridge, because this is a bank holiday for us over here. So I'm going to have a few beers, nicely chilled. So there may be another video after this one, once I've had a few beers. Well, you'd never know. You take it easy now. See ya.